Hi, we're on the Royal Physician and we're going to pick up three bone charms, five runes, two safes, two keys, a shrine and a blueprint. And there's a couple of boxes too. Here is the first blueprint. This will unlock stealth boots, which is super useful. And there's the warehouse key if you need it. Next, we're going to pick up the first rune. You head through the warehouse area, uh, down to the right, climb up this chain, hop off the chain and directly ahead of you. Uh, or, or rather just to the left, is uh, the first room. You smash this door open, there'll be boards over it, which is why you can't get in from the other side. Uh, run over here, down the stairs, drop down here, uh, run across the drawbridge, or activate the drawbridge, run across the bridge, activate the drawbridge, and here's bone charm number one. Simply jump up here and uh, watch out for the weeper, and it's on a table, here. Next, we've got Pratchett's key. He'll be wandering around his house after his initial dialogue with the guard, so you can just snag it off his back there and then choke him out. Uh, there's a few things to do in this house. Uh, the first is opening the key for the th uh, opening the safe for the third room. Now, to open the safe, there'll be a note here which gives a clue to the combination. The way to the truth starts in the crowded streets, then an anchored weighing ship, and then a slaughterhouse. And these are paintings. So we start down by his front door. You'll see the uh, crowded streets is number four. Head up a floor, and you'll find the next painting, which is the whaling ship number three. And right by here, there's actually his little box with a hundred and something uh, gold in it, 150 maybe. Uh, so use his key on that. What is that? 100. Still worth grabbing. Uh, anyway, head on up the stairs to find the final painting. Uh, there's a number seven there on the ship's hull, the whaling ship. So the code is 473, even though I enter it incorrectly the first time. And inside here, you'll find a couple of gold ingots, which are 200 gold, and also a uh, rune. So that is rune number three, I think. Uh, number two, sorry. Next, we are going to jump up here onto the roofs, and then onto this little balcony here. And if you blink across there better than I did, and just to the left, you'll find the third room. And the outsider will turn up and give you a little chat. Hello, outsider. How are you? Nice to see you. On the way through the mission, you can find this guy, although he'll start a fight. The key to his cell is right there. Uh, when you open it, he'll run down here. There's a couple of guards up here. One's in sight and one's in a little hut, so watch out for them. But if you're going for super stealth mission and no kills, uh, you can't do it that way. So avoid that. But there is a lot of money to be had. Anyway, continuing through to the next room, you'll find the fourth room. It's right in front of you and practically impossible to miss. Uh, once you get to this point through to leaving, what you do is jump up on this balcony and then drop down under here, where you'll find a couple of swarms of rats. Uh, save this lady who doesn't appear to give you much. Uh, but there is a bone shard just here on the left by a corpse. So grab that bone shard, and that makes two. And then we are into the next section. There's a bone charm up here to the left, but the easiest way to get it, I think, is up these stairs, blink across there, and then you can either smash this with incendiary bolts or, I guess, the wind blast, if you've got it. Blink into the gap, and it's right in front of you. And that's bone charm number three. Now we're going to grab the secret stash, and if you make your way up these pipes here, uh, over these vents, across onto this aircon unit, and up onto the roof, you'll see a corpse. And there's a little bit of money on it, but also uh, a note which says, turn the faucet in the north house three times. This is the north house. It's right by the entrance. Turn it three times. You might have, if you've got dark vision, you might have seen items in there that are frustrating you. But it'll reveal this wall. There's a rat swarm in there. Uh, and then there's a couple of coins of 10 and a vase worth 100. So grab those. Next, we're going to continue through. You'll come to this area here, a wall of light that's held in. So simply deactivate it. This woman will witter at you for a little bit and say, well, um, thank you very much. There's a safe upstairs. So jump up here and here and unlock the safe using the code she just gave you. I think it's 294. Yeah, 294. There we go. And there's two gold ingots. Uh, inside Solokov's house, the painting is on the gr Sokolov's house. Uh, the painting is on the ground floor here, Lady Boyle. Uh, and you'll note later he never, she's never been painted from in front. Anyway, the final rune is up here by Sokolov himself, just on his table. That's it. Congratulations. Bye.